Well, for more on the Canadian border reopening, I want to bring in Michel Potevin, economics professor at the University of Montreal. Welcome to the show. Hello, good evening. So break down some of the ways that the closure has really impacted businesses on both sides of the border. Um, the restrictions has, uh, if we look at goods, uh, goods and services for goods, uh, of, co of course, with the pandemic, there's been a big dip in 2020, but now we're pretty much on goods trade uh, back to uh, where we were before the, uh, the pandemic hit us. And uh, while for services, we have not picked up yet, but with the reopening of the borders, I think slowly we'll uh, get back to uh, nor a nor a more a normal uh, way of doing things. And I know people are hungry to travel. So specifically, what about the impact on tourism and travel on both sides of the border? How has that been? Um, well, we're re uh, reopening. I think there's going to be a small impact on tourism, but it's going to take a while, as uh, you're probably aware, in the U.S. as well as in Canada, cases are picking up. So I don't expect that a lot of people will rush uh, through the borders to, uh, you know, to, uh, to switch countries. Uh, plus, uh, they need a vaccination passport and stuff. So I don't expect a big, uh, at least a big surge in the short term. I think it's going to take a while before we go back to normal. Now, I want to look at trade. We know that the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade deal became effective in July of 2020. So between that trade deal coming into effect and then the impact of COVID, how has that affected trade with the U.S.? Well, uh, trade in 2020 exports uh, to the U.S. from Canada fell by about 15 percent, while imports uh, fell by uh, close to 11 percent, which was the lowest since uh, 2013. But since then, uh, it has uh, been picking up. I mean, trade uh, went down uh, for um, vehicle, motor vehicles and parts and energy. It's because the economy was shut down early during the pandemic. But since uh, mid-2020, I think uh, uh, we came back to the levels that we were just before uh, the pandemic uh, hit us. There's certainly some welcome news. Um, I want to shift gears now and talk about the actual vaccinations and management of the outbreak in Canada. What is the COVID situation there, especially as we're now seeing these Delta variants continuing to creep up? Right. Well, in Canada, I think we're uh, better, uh, a little bit ahead of the U.S. Uh, if you look in Canada, 62% of uh, of uh, people are, have been fully vaccinated. Uh, that means uh, having two jabs. While in the U.S., I, I understand it's uh, around uh, more like uh, 50 percent. So, and if we look, uh, for example, uh, it seems like around 90 percent of uh, new cases with the Delta variant are for people that are not fully vaccinated. So I think uh, Canada will, will fare okay, the, even with the variant. And obviously this has affected a lot of things, including um, cross-border immigration. So what's been the reaction on both sides to Canada's border reopening? Uh, well, I think here uh, probably some people are a bit scared because we look at the cases picking up in the U.S. So uh, not everybody is fully confident that it's a good idea. Um, but at the same time, I think uh, people are going to be, uh, again, prudent. And, uh, you know, they, I think people react to the information that we have, uh, cases are picking up and stuff. So uh, uh, I think uh, we should be okay with uh, people coming in. There's going to be a small impact on tourism, um, but I think it's going to be marginal uh, economy-wise. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today. Michel Poitavande, economics professor at the University of Montreal.